A wave of anti-Semitic vandalism and threats. Jewish centers, cemeteries, and schools are being targeted across the country, including right here in Arizona. In Miami Beach, swastikas keyed into the sides of cars. In the same neighborhood, a swastika also drawn on the glass door at a local Jewish temple. And nearly 100 graves in Philadelphia vandalized, tombstones overturned and broken. Birmingham, Alabama, a Jewish center evacuated for the third time in the past few weeks. And bomb threats against Jewish community centers in states all across the U.S., including tonight at the JCC in Scottsdale and right here at home in Tucson. Now, your side's Whitney Clark joins us live at the JCC to tell us what happened. Whitney. Well, the scene is clear here now, but earlier today, a bomb squad swept the parking lot at the JCC after some kind of threat was phoned in. TPD says it happened at about 6 p.m. Officers didn't reveal exactly what was said in this particular phone call, but it did allude to uh, something in the parking lot here. Now, TPD swept the area, and at about by 7.30, it was deemed all clear. They did not find anything suspicious. Now, witnesses say there were about 200 people at the JCC when this happened and everyone kind of went on lockdown and sheltered in place. Now, this comes after another wave of threats to Jewish centers across the country. Last week, after a different string of incidents, the JCC here in Tucson released the following statement, saying in part, in the event of one, our center has in place security protocols to ensure your safety and the safety of your family. We are continually in contact with other local law enforcement agencies to ensure you your well-being as you enjoy the benefits of being part of the Jays family. Now, while this was pretty scary for the people were he that who were here at the time, they say that police and the staff here at the JCC did a great job of making them feel safe and comfortable. Guy, Stella. Whitney, thank you.